Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for the nice events. So I will present a work I did with Bruno Sosro uh, from my lab. And it's about a fractional impression process. With, uh, we prove a long-range long dependency for this process, and we have some direct applications in wind theory. Uh, so, uh, just uh, some basics on, uh, on wind theory. So, we have a risk process, which models the time evolution of the reserve of an insurance company. So, we start with uh, capital U, premium are collected with constant rate C, and at random time U1, U2, U3, etc., we have some claims with amounts, random amounts, X1, X2, X3, X4, etc. Okay, so we assume that it is a big company, so the, const the rate is constant over time, the rate of premium, and, uh, and that's it. So here are the classical assumption of the model. So usually we assume that N of T is a Poisson process with parameter lambda. So the uh, time between claims are exponentially distributed with parameter lambda, and these claims are these times are independent. The claim amounts XIs are usually assumed to be a sequence of independent and identically distributed positive random variables. And we assume usually the independence between the XI and the VI. And the classical problems in the ring theory is to uh, compute uh, this quantity, so the ring probability, that is to say the probability that the company the financial reserve of the company uh, becomes negative before time t. So if t is fixed, we speak about finite time in probability, and when t goes to infinity, we speak about infinite time in probability. Okay, so tau here is the time of win. Uh, now some basics, but I think uh, most of you know know that perfectly. So just the difference between light-tailed and heavy-tailed distributions. So a random X is a light-tailed, is a um, uh, generating moment function is finite if, if there exists a constant R such that this quantity is finite. So we have exponential distribution, the gamma distribution, the bool with shape parameter, we turn the n, etc., etc. And for the Evitel case, it is C Evitel if for all air positive, positive, all positive air, the expectation of this guy is infinite. So we have the log normal, the Pareto, Burr, etc., etc. And in uh, for Evitel class, we have the sub, sub exponential distribution class. So a distribution k, k is said to be sub exponential. If with k bar equal to one minus k, we have uh, this uh, this uh, this limit. So the limit of the convolution of k bar divided by k bar is equal to two. So in particular, we have a principle of a single big jump uh, because when x goes to infinity, uh, the tail behavior of the sum is driven by the tail behavior of a maximum, and it is equivalent to n, so the number of random variables, time uh, k bar of x, so uh, probability that one over x is greater than x. And in this class, we have also the regularly varying distribution class. So distribution k is said to be regularly varying with index alpha, so we have seen it uh, uh, in the morning, if we have this limit. And in particular, uh, we have this form for the, the tail function k bar of x, so it is equal to uh, L of x, which is a, 
L is in R0, time the power X to the power minus alpha. Okay. Uh, now, so I will speak about the uh, fractional Poisson process. So we have two uh, different, the two different definitions for the fractional Poisson process. But the, before that, I will present the metag leffler distribution. So V is metag leffler distributed with parameter lambda and H in 0, 1. If the probability that V return that T is equal to this guy, uh, and E H of Z is the metag leffler function defin defined by this series, and gamma denotes the Euler's gamma function. So it is defined for any complex number z, and so uh, we have this expression for the, for the tail function of v. Okay, so the two parameters are, are lambda is here and h is here and here. Okay, so the first definition to define the fractional Poisson process is to use the renewal process. So we define n h of t, so the fractional Poisson process, have, uh, as a renewal process, and with uh, inter-arrival uh, times, uh, which is metag leffler distributed with parameter lambda and h. Okay, so here, here you have the classical definition of a renewal process, and vk here is a high id with metag, metag leffler distribution. And then n h of t is a fractional Poisson process with parameters lambda and h. So it is the first definition we can find in the literature for the fractional Poisson process. And there is a second definition for uh, a fractional, uh, fractional Poisson process. So we st you start it from a classical Poisson process, n of t, with parameter lambda greater than, uh, with parameter lambda. And the idea is to change the time of a classical Poisson process by E h of t, where, uh, where E h of t is this guy, is the right continuous inverse of a standard H-table C bonnier T h of t, and uh, E h of t. So E f of t is defined, is defined by this expression, and we have uh, this equality to define the h of t. Okay? So n h of t is equal to the classical Poisson process, but, but with a time change here. Okay? So it is a second definition for the fractional Poisson process, and in this paper, they prove that definition one, so this one with the renewal process and definition two with a time change in a classical Poisson process are equivalent. Okay? So we can see first properties for the fractional Poisson process. Uh, so it is an extension of it is an extension of a classical Poisson process because if H is equal to one. We, have, we, we find the classical Poisson process. We have a Laplace transform of uh, inter-arrival time, so of a metag leffler distribution. So it is equal to lambda over lambda plus psi to h. So if h is equal to one, you, you find the, the Laplace, Laplace transform of an exponential distribution. And if uh, h is uh, smaller than 1, then uh, v1, uh, the probability that z1 is larger than t, is equivalent to, to t to the minus h divided by lambda times gamma of 1 minus, minus h. And h is smaller than 1. So, the inter-arrival times, so the times between two events, are regularly varying with parameter h, and h is more than one, so uh, this distribution has an infinite mean. Okay, so the time between two events 
uh, that the, the distribution of the time between two events have an infinite mean. Okay? And of course, if the time has between two events has an infinite mean, so the number of events between 0 and t is lighted. Okay. So we have um, we have proven proven the the, the property of long range dependence for this process. So if we define the fractional Poissonian noise by uh, n h of j minus n h of j minus one, so s x j h has the long range dependence property for any h in 0, 1, of course, h is smaller than 1, because for h equal to 1, you have a classical Poisson process. Uh, just a remark about uh, the long-range dependence property. So it is well known that for a stationary renewal process, we have to prove uh, this equality to prove the property of long-range dependence. But in our case, the fractional Poisson process is not a stationary uh, process. So we have to, so we have, we have found an, another definition, which is proposed by Enden Yang, uh, which deals with its, this property, but for non-stationary uh, process. So a process XM so not necessarily stationary, has a property of long-range dependence if we call that the block mean process. So this sum of xj divided by this sum of variance of xj satisfy this, this limit. So in this limit, you have a variance of yt of m, and you have also the sum here of a variance of xj. So we have to prove that this limit is equal to infinity to prove that a process not necessarily stationary has the long range dependence property. Okay? Um, so in the literature, you, we can find some, some uh, application for the, this kind of process, uh, particularly uh, with natural disaster, storm, storm origins, raindrop, uh, earthquakes. Earth, earthquakes. Uh, for example, if you think about um, time between two earthquakes with high magnitude, in some cases, uh, you have uh, a distribution, a power, distrib power law distribution with infinite mean. So we have a uh, here, an example we can find in Lavernia and Gaul in 1998. And we, we find uh, a power law distribution with index equal to 0 0.68. So it is smaller than 1, so you have the infinite mean uh, between uh, these two events. And uh, also in Resnick 2000, for the self-similarity of web traffic, it shows that for some months, uh, you have a, a regularly varying distribution for the time between two events and with index equal to uh, 0 0.66, okay? So now our idea is to uh, apply this kind of process and to replace the classical Poisson process in the model of a risk process by the fractional Poisson process. Okay, so the idea is, for example, to, to think about these earthquakes. We have a company, insurance company, with uh, uh, earthquakes risks, and uh, for high magnitude, so we have uh, uh, these times, this kind of times between two events. Okay, so here, it is the model we are going to, to study. 
So of course, NH of T is a fractional Poisson process with parameter lambda. So the claim interoccurrence times is a sequence of independence and meta Gleffler distributed with parameter lambda and H, smaller than one. Again, the claim amounts are IID, and we assume also the independence between the claim amounts and uh, the times between the events. So we started with um, the exponential distribution for the claim amounts. So we assume that the claim amounts are exponentially distributed with parameter mu. And here we are interested in the distribution of a wind time tau. So the time uh, the company, the reserve of the company becomes negative. And we denote the density of this wind time tau by P of tau. And we have this expression for P, uh, P tau of t. Okay, where uh, here we have the n-fold convolution of a function fh, and fh is defined by this guy, and here we have a generalized two-parameter metagleffler function. And the key point here is we have uh, a nh of t is a renewal process, okay? So, in the wind theory, we have a spare and understand process. So, we can apply a lot of results uh, in the literature which deal with the spare and understand process. So, we have the long range dependency, but it is again a renewal process. Okay? So, here it's just a direct application of the results you can find in Borokov and Nixon because it is a spare Anderson process. Again, here, if uh, we are interested in the finite time moving probability, that is the probability that the process becomes negative before time t, and we have the Laplace, we can get the Laplace transform of this quantity. And we have just to solve this equation, so we can solve this equation numerically. Okay, it's not, not very complicated. And again, it is a it is a spare on the sun model, so we can uh, apply directly uh, this this result. Okay, again, we have an exponential uh, distribution for the claim amounts. And for the infinite time win probability. Uh, we have this expression. Okay. It is the same expression uh, as we have uh, exponential distribution between the times, but the equation to find uh, the gamma here is quite different because h is here. Okay. And when h is equal to 1, we, uh, of course, it is the Poisson process, and uh, we you recognize the classical equation uh, for the classical model. Okay, and again, it is a direct application of, of this result. And now let's move to the I think the more interesting model because for the exponential claims, that means that you have lighted claims, and these claims arrive uh, very few, so it is not very dangerous for a company. But if you have heavy time claim amounts, uh, it is, of course, more dangerous for a company. So uh, we assume here that, that the claim size are sub-exponential distributed, and we, we get this expression when u, so the initial reserves, go to infinity. So it is a classical uh, computation uh, when we deal with uh, evite claim amounts. So we have these two inequalities. Uh, if, you have, if you are wind at time t, of course you have wind before zero t. 
And if you have you are ruined before the warranty, of course, the claim amount is uh, larger than the initial reserves. And these two quantities are equivalent when used goes to infinity, huh? and it is equivalent to, to this guide. So the expected number of claims uh, before zero and t times the probability that one claim uh, is larger than you. You, you, you could think about the single, a single big jump huh, for the sub-exponential distributions, and we have uh, this quantity. And uh, we have just to find the expectation of NH of T, which is given by uh, Lagueras in 2005. Um, Now I will speak about a uh, work he, which is in progress, uh, again with uh, Bruno Sostro. And um, we, uh, we write the model with uh, random work. Uh, so we define this random work. So E0 is equal to 0. And Sn, Sn is the sum of, of this guy. So N here is not a time. Okay. When you think about uh, random work, you think usually about uh, periods. So here, it is not the case. And in not uh, the time, it is the number of claims. Okay? So here, for example, x1 minus cv1, it is uh, cv1 is the, the money you earn uh, uh, before zero and uh, the arrival of a first claim, and x1 is uh, the money you lose because you pay x1 when the fir first claim arrives. Okay? So n is the number of claims, and here is the money just after the first claim. So if you define m to the maximum of this uh, random work, we have that the infinite time in probability is the probability that this maximum exceeds the initial reserves u. And we can apply it, uh, the result of Denisov and all, and all. And we assume here that the uh, claim amounts are regularly varying distributed, and alpha can be uh, smaller than one. So, if you look at this, uh, this common distribution of a random work, so V1 has infinite mean, and X1 can have infinite mean. So you have a kind of competition between the right tail and the left, left, left tail of uh, the common distribution of a random work. Okay, so, and then if, so we assume that uh, the claim amounts, uh, the tail of the claim amounts is this form with we, uh, we the function L of x, and if alpha is greater than h, then you have this, uh, this expression for the asymptotic of the infinite time in probability when u goes to infinity. Yeah, so here you, you find uh, the result of this competition, if you, if you, if you want, you have u to the power minus, minus alpha plus h. And if alpha is equal to h, so you have the same index for the left tail and the right tail, you have this expression for the infinite time green probability. Okay. And that's it. So thank you for your attention.